welcome, 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 welcome. I'm so excited. <laughs> Why am I so excited? I'm excited because we are using carrots today. I only use carrots on this channel in the way I'm going to be using it today. However, carrot is great for your skin because it contains vitamin A and vitamin A will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines and sagging skin. So I'm going to make a carrot overnight facial mask for you. Just, just wait and see. So if you have sagging skin, if you are seeing the signs of aging, if you're having wrinkles or if you're just looking for a facial mask that's going to give you that natural glow to your skin, you're in your 20s and you're looking for just a brightening agent, your 40s and you're looking to to have plump supple skin 50s you're looking to boots the collagen production in the skin and I could go on and on this overnight facial mask is for you you don't want to miss it so continue watching for this recipe you're gonna need a pot for boiling you're gonna need a strainer you're gonna need a bowl and you are also gonna need a blender now here are the carrots and I've already gone and scrape and wash the carrots. Carrot is great for the skin. It contains many good source of vitamins and minerals for your skin, especially vitamin A. Vitamin A is from the beta carotene. Now vitamin A helps to fight wrinkles on the skin. For sagging skin, vitamin A also helps to boost the collagen production in the skin. And that is why we're using the carrot today topically. Now the first thing I'm going to do with the carrots, I'm going to cut them in small pieces since we are going to be boiling the carrots. This is an overnight carrot mask, so I'm going to boil the carrot for easier application. And no, we are not going to boil the nutrients out of the carrots because we did not peel the carrots. Therefore the skin on the carrot is going to lock up the nutrients in the carrot. And we're also not going to overcook the carrots. So here I have about a cup of chopped carrots. Next I'm going to pour about two cups of water. And I'm going to place this on the stove and I'm going to boil for about five minutes. Now take a look at the next ingredient which is aloe vera gel. And I like to use the store-bought aloe vera gel in this recipe, aloe vera gel will help to hydrate the skin. It penetrates deep in the skin and boosts the collagen. However, the most important thing is that aloe vera gel helps to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation, any form of a spots and blemishes, acne scars, you name it. Our next ingredient is a sweet almond oil. And sweet almond oil have a lot of benefit for the skin. It help to smooth the skin. It help to condition the skin. It is a very light oil. Therefore, it penetrates deep into the skin. It help to boost the collagen production. It is great for under eyes. It is also great to hydrate the skin and leaving it soft and supple. And it is also a wonderful carrier oil. If you do not have sweet almond oil, go ahead and use some grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil adds vitamin E. It is also another wonderful oil to use on the skin. I'm going to be using some papaya seed oil. I'm also going to be using some squalene oil and I'm going to be using some coffee essential oil. Now guys, these are anti-aging oil that also contains vitamin A and vitamin E. Coffee is going to help with the circulation, the wrinkles on the fine lines. The papaya seed contains properties that's going to firm the skin, boost the collagen production, and the squalene oil is also going to help to firm the skin and boost the collagen production. Now, if you do not have any of these oils, not to worry, just use the oils you have. And I'm going to show you some optional oils that you can use. You can choose we have jojoba oil, 
we also have some rosehip oil and we have some argan oil if you have any one of these oil use it in this remedy now so here we have our boiled carrot and once you boil your carrot you are going to cool them down an easy way to cool these carrots down is to just pour some cold water over the carrot and to stop the boiling process immediately so that's what i just did i just poured some cold water on the carrot and now i'm going to remove the carrot so here we have our boiled carrot and the next thing we're going to do, we are going to blend the carrot. So we're just going to pour our carrot in the blender. We're not going to add any water to this. We are just going to blend as is. And here we have our blended carrot. Now guys, let's take a look at what I'm gonna do. Even though we blend this, I'm still gonna strain the carrot. So let's just dump this in. And we're straining because we do not want any lumps in our overnight face mask. We're gonna use a spoon and we're just gonna press on it. And this way we are making sure there's no lumps and just keep pressing get it through the strainer and take a look at that then we're gonna just scoop it off and now our carrot puree is ready and this is about three tablespoons of carrot puree. So the first oil I'm gonna add is our sweet almond oil. And I'm using one teaspoon of sweet almond oil. We're pouring this in. If you're not using sweet almond oil and you're using grapeseed oil or coconut oil, use the same amount, one teaspoon. Next, we're moving on to the aloe vera gel. And we're also going to use one teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. We're just going to pour this in. One teaspoon. And before we move on, we're going to mix this in a little bit. So aloe vera gel, sweet almond oil, and our puree, carrot puree. And moving on to the next oils, which is the vitamin E oil. And I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. If you're using vitamin E capsule, use about two. And here it comes, guys. Here I have some rosehip oil. And I'm going to tip about a half a teaspoon of rosehip oil in this. Not a lot, just a little. And this is good as is you could stop here you don't have to add anything else if you don't have anything else to add to it even if you don't have the rose hip oil you could leave it out but for those of you who have more and you want to add more let's continue I am gonna use some quailing oil and this have a dropper just about three drops in this and I'm also gonna be using the good old papaya seed oil and this one have a pump so I'm gonna pump about three pumps not a lot and this is it and now we're gonna just blend this in together and this is looking amazing right here so just blend this overnight mask together wonderful and this is also great to keep in your refrigerator and apply to your skin cool a little of this goes along where you really do not need a lot on your skin and now once we thoroughly blend the oils in our carrot overnight mask, we're gonna pour this in a container. I like to store mine in a glass jar. Use whatever jar you have. So just pour it in the jar. And this can last you about seven days in your refrigerator. So just use this up in seven days. 
and then you make more we have water in this remedy okay the water from the carrot and that is why we are only keeping it for seven days in the refrigerator now to use this facial mask you're just gonna take a little bit on your hands at night after cleansing your skin that is after exfoliating and you're gonna take your overnight mask and you're not gonna use a lot of this a little goes a long way and take a look at what I'm doing here I am blending the mask out in my skin so this is not a mask that you're gonna lay on thick on your face the amount I just use is good enough and just rub it on your skin like this okay do this for about three minutes just massaging it in your skin now once you are done if it's too much just you know dab off the excess you don't need the excess on it okay and then leave it on your skin overnight up on the rising in the mornings you rinse off now guys use this every night just use it for seven days straight okay and then see what happened to your skin now after you give this wonderful remedy a go come back and leave your comment it is really amazing and this is what I am currently using and that's why I decided to share it with you it is doing a number on my skin so give it a go use it for a week and then come back and comment so here you have it your carrot overnight facial mask so what can I say you see it for yourself go ahead and give this carrot overnight mask a try I want you guys to use it and I want you to come back and leave a comment if you have any other suggestion of other things that we could put in this carrot overnight facial mask feel free to comment below okay your input is always welcome thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video